Hello everyone, my name is Nitesh and you are watching Dancing with Data because data is data. And today we will learn how to implement OR operator with slicers because by default it is of type AND. So what does that mean? That means if you have a central region and city is LN, it's like an intersection where you will have region as central and city as LN in each and every row over there as you can see. But how can I satisfy OR condition? So in that case you will have four cities as or the same city in four different order IDs over there but at the same time you will have other cities as well which will fall in the central region and that you cannot achieve while you make slicer based on those native columns then what should we do so first of all we will have to create two tables for two slicers over there one for region and one for city and and these two tables should be unrelated to any of the tables in the original data model that you have and if you do that you will go back to the original position i will show you that um, at the end as well third and last step would be to create a dex measure and that's it so let us create our first table slicer city table values order city so you get all the order cities over there okay press the enter button that the first one similarly we will create the second one values order region so you get all the region names this is somewhat similar to you know tableau parameter approach so if you do this thing with tableau use parameter and i always get you the related link at my description related concept with respect to tableau so you get double bonus every time you come over here so i'm quite excited to see the two tables over there now i come to a new page we are going to use this very particular page now let us bring in slicer here is a slicer we need one more to control v here we go one for region and one for city now remember one thing that you need to ensure that these are not in the instance of added interaction so i click over there and i check over there here you go so it should be none okay so i'm going to just reformat these slicers look as if now nothing is happening so if i just try to select any other region and if you see the total over there it is not changing that means uh, the detail the table is as it is there is no uh, change whatsoever again this is like tab because this is like independent there is no relationship of these slices with respect to this detail page so we need to insert that uh, relationship in the form of a dex measure you don't have to go back to and you know create a relationship over there in fact you don't have to create a relationship now let me show you that part as well right that is an important part so if i go to data model and uh, you will see on the right hand side i have region uh, slicer there is no relation there is no need to make any sort of relationship if you make that i'll, I'll show you that later now let me go back to report and let's see before we go and create the dex measure we are going to make use of selected value that returns the value when context for column name has been filtered down to one distinct value only that's quite satisfying for our requirement because we are going to select one region and one city at a time so it will return that value now once we get that value then it's easier for us because the selected region say central or the city say san francisco or the san john we can say that the actual order region column in or is or equal to this value selected value from slicer region table or selected order city should be equal to slicer city table so like let us write the calculation the, the logic will be here so what we want selected value the selected value coming from the slicer table so i would say region is equal to now we can say max of uh, since this is a measure region we have to we have to max over there and this time we are going to get this from which right here you go by that, mean, that means or same goes for city remember that is the or operator over there so if the region is selected value or the city is a selected value coming from the slicer table then give me one otherwise zero and that's our or solution is enter and we are good now let's bring our our solution to this table for a while to understand this so it's coming as zero if i just click on that now it shows me one that means one means true so we need to filter it but for now let us see if it is satisfying the situation so yes you see all is east over there right so it's east so all the cities coming under east region should come and let's see if this city is under east region or not so if i saw the city it shows me that uh, I am getting this very particular 
city but the region is central and this is coming as true so i'm getting both ways now so now i need to open this filter and ensure that that this is one that's what we want and i said i filter and here you go now it, now it looks quite nice you get everything from east right from top to bottom and you get this city as well So definitely there is one record for this city so you get you are getting that record as well so as promised i will show you that if i go to the mod view and if i try to relate uh, this region this this region down then what will happen so region don't have to do this right i just want to show you that you know what sort of blender it can have, can happen if you do this city there you go and what will happen ha huh. it's all blank because again you're doing the same thing you're going back to the default nature of your slicer by connecting these tables isolated tables back to the uh, your data model so don't do that so we'll keep it as it is or filter is ready for you go and you also try i hope this video made some sense and if you like this video if you find this informative do like subscribe to my channel if you are coming here for the first time and do comment whatever request that you have so this is ritesh signing off from dancing with data give me data is our data goes